Hello everyone and welcome back to the Common Sense Crypto Channel. As with you always, this is Rich doing another video today on XLM. So I hope you're all having a wonderful day today wherever you are in this great, great world. We're going to talk about XLM. And you know, there's some announcements around Stellar. And I always said to myself, you know, I wonder why Stellar doesn't have the daily announcements like other networks. I don't think they really need it, honestly. If you know what XLM is built to do, you will understand it's so much bigger. It's going to be another cryptocurrency that moves the world's money. Exciting news. Bitwave's integration with the Stellar Org blockchain is complete. This milestone, supported by the Stellar Community Fund's Activation Award, marks an exciting step forward in our mission to enable digital assets for enterprises. They're going after enterprise adoption through tokenization. This integration can significantly benefit projects exploring a range of on-chain activities like tokenizing real-world assets or supporting cross-border remittances. Two things that XLM is built to do. Cross-border remittances and tokenization. Moving that tokenized value. Zetablock integrates with Stellar to simplify blockchain development. We're bringing powerful data infrastructure tools to Stellar's development community. Together, we aim to simplify the creation of data-driven applications, making development seamless and efficient whenever you make something easier people will use it and i could see more growth coming from this over time this comes from mr man stacks is a universal money app in africa built on the stellar network and offers offline ability to transfer usdc within the african region more banking the unbanked you know i always told people if you want to see when the new financial system is going to go live, it's once everybody in the world has access to that new system. And that's what I see coming. This comes from Smoke. Mika regulation to reshape the digital asset landscape with significant implications to stable coins. USDC's transparency and compliance gives it an edge over USDT. USDT equals less attractive under regulations. Mika equals shift in market share from USDT to USDC. I think that's going to be very big for Stellar going forward. Once Tether falls, I think it's going to pave the way for USDC and Ripple's new stablecoin as well. Also, coming from Mr. Man, Stellar's blockchain can potentially serve as a bridge currency and settlement layer within Project Nexus, enabling near real-time, low-cost cross-border payments by leveraging XLM for instant currency conversion across connected payment systems. Now, like I always said, XLM is much like XRP. They can both move value across borders. But the big part of that is real-time settlement, working like a bridge currency. Not just moving money, but moving the value of, tra of tokenized assets as well. That's why I think Stellar is already very well positioned all throughout the world. Look at all the on-off ramps Stellar has already. Integrating Stellar means fast and low-cost transactions. MoneyGram is the best example. They have millions of people using it. More will follow. People will use XLM without even knowing it. You know, there's going to be a time where people are using crypto and not even knowing it. Most of the people that you talk to about getting invested in the crypto right now that don't like crypto or don't see value in it, will be using it on a daily basis. And by the time we get to that point, you will already be rich off of your XLM. That's what I see coming. USDC on Stellar is now on COCA. 
Top up your Coca card with USDC directly from the Stellar blockchain and spend it anywhere MasterCard is accepted. Right now, you could use payment cards like Coca or other options, Uphold card, whatever, Coinbase card. And you could buy things in the store using your crypto. But I picture a time in the future where you have a digital wallet and the merchant has a digital wallet and you're making payments directly from your wallet to his wallet. I think that time is not so far away. I think that's going to start in 2025 because everything is going to transition. And I just dealt with my bank because my card was compromised and people bought stuff with my debit card. And my bank also said something very similar. They said they're pushing away from cards and going into digital wallets. So you won't even need a debit card soon. So that's what I see for crypto also. Franklin Templeton is the largest issuer of tokenized treasuries on Stellar the second most popular tokenization network. BlackRock is the second largest issuer. Ethereum is the most preferred network, but Stellar is second. That positions Stellar very good in the future because trillions of dollars worth of tokenized assets are going to end up on these networks. Stellar is going to be one of them. It's why I'm heavily invested in XRP, XLM, XDC, and so on. When you look at the BRICS, and I talk about the BRICS a lot, because the BRICS are expanding out at a very fast pace, and they're almost ready for their new digital system to go live. I always said I think BRICS is actually the ones building out the new financial system, because you see it tied in with SWIFT and FedNow and FedWire and the BIS and the IMF and even the World Economic Forum. But then you also see it tied to Ripple and Stellar. We always knew as crypto investors that these two cryptocurrencies were very important when it comes to moving money, moving value. And I think Stellar is also going to be tied in with BRICS. Stellar also has an, a lot of on-off ramps in countries that are already part of BRICS and new countries that are joining BRICS as well. $2 plus XLM will happen this cycle. I think XLM is going above $3. That's my conservative price point for XLM. But you know, I think we could even see a higher price very soon because I think utility is going to start driving the price of XLM. And once that happens, once XLM goes live on all those rails all around the world, that's going to be it. Your time to stack XLM is going to be over. Now, whatever you hold, you have to get rich off of that amount of XLM. That's why it's always so important to be buying the dips when they happen. Stack as much as you can while you still have time. They are going to regulate crypto and DeFi out of existence. They're not going to. Regulations will lay the foundation to bring real institutional money into this space. Once regulations happen, that could be looked at as the flip of the switch moment because now you have a clear path forward for crypto. I don't think we're going to see these cryptocurrencies really start to move until regulations come. The good thing is they are already being put in place. Gradual, then sudden. Take a listen to this. Quite simply, I think blockchains and digital assets are the future of finance, really, for, for many, many asset classes. Um, yes, the regulation needs to evolve and mature. And certainly uh, there needs to be critical mass of both buyers and sellers and lenders and borrowers. But as uh, more banks like ANZ get involved with the services I described around tokenization, and smart contract provision, wallet infrastructure, you know, if that's coming from a trusted counterparty like a bank, like ANZ, our customers are going to be much more inclined to reveal to themselves the benefit of fast settlement times, very low transaction costs. It's going to be gradual, then sudden. Uh, and I think that's the evolution. Now that gradual may take... So think about it like this, gradual and then sudden. Right now, what is Stellar doing? They're putting in on off-ramps, banking the unbanked. And we're just waiting for regulations. Once those come, that's it. 
Then all of a sudden, tokenization will amp up. Cross-border payments will amp up with it. And that will bring the sudden rise of XLM. The sudden price rise will happen. Curious about which DLT they will use? Stellar Ethiopia approved CBDC launch draft proclamation. So we also know that Stellar is tied to CBDCs. Ethiopia, Ukraine. And I think as time goes on, we're going to see more adoption of Stellar as well. But it's all happening. A lot of it's happening in the background. And most likely, there's a lot of NDAs at Stellar. Same thing that you see going on at Ripple. Wait until those announcements come out. They could be very big announcements. I think of XLM the same way I think about early PayPal. Most won't see this coming, and later they'll start freaking out. Take a listen to Danelle Dixon. And it's, it's just amazing to, to really think about what this technology can do. I'm more than ever committed to the, the idea that what this technology can do is solve that fundamental challenge of that cross-border piece. Take notice what she talked about the cross-border piece. That's key because everybody is, even with the new financial system, you're still going to have people working in other countries and sending money home. And they're going to want that to happen in real time. No longer waiting days and paying high fees. That's the problem that XLM solves. And when you solve a problem like that, all of a sudden, trillions of dollars are flowing through the Stellar Network, utilizing the cryptocurrency XLM. That's how we will get rich off of our XLM. And everybody is saying 2025 is the year. ISO is also going to happen in 2025. That's going to be very big for XLM also. Because ISO, we have not seen the value from it yet. People are downplaying it everywhere, all over X. I told you ISO was a nothing burger. Soon, those people are going to find out how big ISO actually was. And people will be freaking out when it happens. Other crypto investors are going to be freaking out that they didn't buy XLM when they could have. Instead, they were going and chasing meme coins or putting their money in Bitcoin hoping that those Bitcoin ETFs pump, pumped their bags. But I think we're going to watch a transition happen. We're going to transition away from Bitcoin and Ethereum, and all that money is going to be flowing into utility. Why? Because now, once the price of XLM rises, people will all of a sudden believe that XLM is capable of hitting $10 and $20 and beyond. I even think that there's already a set price for XLM. It's going to come from the IMF and the BIS. Remember, they always looked at XRP and XLM as stable coins. I think they're going to be high-valued stable coins. And we're not going to see the fluctuations and the dips like we see now. Instead, we're going to see gradual upward movement as more and more countries get on board with the digital age which we're living in right now. You want to get rich off the fourth industrial revolution? Buy XLM. And sit back, do nothing, and just wait for it to happen. But until it does happen, you got to stay patient, stay positive, and let's get rich together. With that said, I'm going to wrap up this video. I want to thank you all for watching. I appreciate all of you. I'll see you in the next one. Have a great night.